Okay guys, I decided to do a bit of a show and tell on a um, forge burner, a uh, high powered cigar lighter. Sorry about the state of my desk at the moment, I just got a new bird in the office and not sure if he or she knows what she's doing. You know, it's a bit hard to tell the, um, these days. Wrecks everything. Um, I based uh, my little project on um, this one designed by Larry Zola. It's a sidearm burner. Galvanised pipe fittings or black iron would be fine. Well, black iron would be preferable. It's got a plug in the end that just screws in. Um, piece of scrap pipe and a slightly bigger piece of scrap pipe for a flare um, always best if the hot parts are not galvanised if you don't want to have metal fume fever and suddenly think you've got COVID um, standard bit of uh, trailer mud guard there made into a cone for a venturi because uh, I haven't seen a fitting like uh, like Larry suggests and I wasn't able to get one bit of trailer mud guard for um, a choke for your air so you can restrict your airflow get your burner to burn um, lean rich neutral the business end of it a ball valve there uh, it's an eight made to fit eight millimeter gas pipe and gas tubing it's a piece of six mil copper pipe um, and there's a mig tip on the other end I've done the same thing as Larry did, um, put a set screw so that it'll actually hold the tip and there's a set screw in the flare so you can adjust that to get your flame to run um, inside or outside of a uh, furnace or a um, forge. Tight clearance there. And that tip should extend down to pretty much the start of where the little venturi is. Which will get there in a minute. Somewhere about there, which is adjustable. Loosen the set screw. Um, move the pipe and tighten the set screw back up again. So I'll, I'll put the dimensions down in the description of the bits and pieces that you uh, could use if you wanted to make one yourself. And I'll do a video later of the uh, thing actually lit up. So, see you later.